hey everyone what's up welcome back to technical portal youtube channel on a new video of microsoft excel lookup series that is running into my channel so friends today in this video we are going to learn how to use the index and match function to get approximate match with the multiple criteria included check the description box there i will give you the link of this workbook which I am using in this video and check the VBA series that is also running into my channel you will find this into my channel playlist so here you can see that I have a database which includes product feature and their code and where we will have the product and feature and our code will show automatically with the index and match function to look up and approximate match based on more than one criteria you can easily use an array formula based on index and match with help of the if function so here I need to get the product and feature list at first so what we will do to get the list of this product and feature we will simply go to the data tab then click on data validation here select allow as list then on the source we are going to use the product table here so make sure to select at first this cell where your product will be included then click on ok look at here and drop down menu we included as here and if you click on this you will get your product list here you can select it from it so it will prevent you from typing the lookup value manually and we will get the same into the feature cell go to the data tab click on data validation select allow as list in the source select your data click on ok look at here it will be showed according to your feature column right so I am selecting as two now it is time to execute our lookup formula so what we will do we will do at first equation then we will use the index formula here look at here it is asking for array and what your array will be it will be which you are going to search for then put a comma now we have to use the match function here use the tab button to autofill your formula and include a bracket automatically then use at first this one that is feature cell put a comma now we are going to use the if function now what we need to do we need to actually find this one and this one included that is RAM which contains two in feature column so at first select this cell range put a equation and what it will search for it will search for RAM right so make sure to give this logical test properly in your formula otherwise you might get error put a comma now it is asking for value if true and what it will show if the value is true it will be showed this one so it will be then matched with this one and follow my steps properly I will explain total formula in this video so after selecting this feature column close the bracket put a comma now it is asking for match type here select number one that option that is less than the value then close the brackets and don't hit enter you need to press control shift then enter to use this formula actually as an array formula in your table right so note this carefully don't simply just hit enter you need to enter control shift and enter if you hit just simply enter it you will get errors so I am pressing control shift then enter look at here it is showing you the result accordingly and if you select display it will show you the error as NA you can also use the if error function to prevent the NA error showing 
so I am selecting this one and number 4 here so it will show you the code as RAM2 the goal of this formula is to return the code when given an product and feature at the core this is just an index match function the problem in this case that we need to screen out the extraneous entries in the table so we are left only the entries that correspond to the product we are looking for this is done with a simple if function here you can see that we are using the if function in this match function this snippet tests the values in the b5 to b10 column to see if they match the value in g6 that is the product where there is a match the corresponding values in c5 to c10 column are returned that are the feature column where there is no match false is returned when g6 contains ram the resulting array will be showed accordingly this goes into the match function as this array the lookup value for match comes from g7 that is feature which contains the feature that is number 4 we have given here note that match is configured for approximate match by setting the match type to 1 and this requires that the values in this column that is c5 to c11 must be shorted then match returns the position of feature in the array and this is passed to index as the row number the lookup array for index are the codes in number lookup array for index are the code in d5 to d10 column so index returns a code corresponding to the position generated by match the number 4 in this example shown so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video and learn something new about the index match function so if you like this video please give a thumbs up share this video with your friends who wants to learn microsoft excel from the beginning share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned